How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to our fighting game. In this lecture, we're going to be making our project structure. Now, our project structure is our ultimate organization. And I want to do this from the get-go because having your project organized in the long run, if you ever want to take this game a step further and you want to release it as uh, an actual game with your own artwork and stuff like that, you always want to have your organization to be perfect from the beginning because that way you know where everything is, you know how to debug it, and it's not a complete mess versus going back and having to figure out where things go. And that way it's just a lot easier for you in the long run. So after having said all that, unfortunately, if you are using the free edition of Construct 2, then you won't be able to create subfolders to the extent that I will be making them. So for the remainder of this game, please just put your event sheets into one event. You will probably end up hitting the 100 uh, event sheet limit per event sheet. So we will be going around that and we'll be making the most important features of this game so the free edition people can actually make the same fighting game. But this might be a really big selling point on why you should upgrade your construct to. So what we're going to do is we're going to make lots and lots of folders. We already have a layouts folder, event sheets folder, an object types folders, and all the other stuff that comes here. But what we need to do is make subfolders. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to right click on our layouts folder and hit add subfolder. Now we're going to make two. We're going to make one for our menus and then we're going to make another one for our level. Now we're only going to make one level so it's not going to be levels but you could obviously make it levels if you had more levels to make. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our game layout into our level and we're going to put our menu layout and our over layout into our menus folder. There we go. So our layouts are structured. We are done with our layouts. It's really our event sheets and the rest that take a little bit longer. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to right click and add a subfolder for our event sheets. And the first one is going to be our game. Now, as you can imagine, our game is going to have our game event. And if we add another subfolder, we're going to make it for our menus. So the only thing different that I did here was I named it game instead of level because this is our game event or I guess you could call it your level event. It's really up to you. But this way I have it a little bit organized because our game event is going to be our main event. This is the most important event because it calls every little piece of code that we write. So I have it called game event. But we might mess around with other names in other games. You never know. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're then going to make our levels folder. Now, the big reason why I had these separated is because, I, or just level, it's because I want to keep the game event separate from the level event. Imagine we don't have to really handle a, a game loop with Construct 2. Construct 2 does it for us, but we're still adding to that loop, that continuous loop where your game code is running in the background, the things that display the screen, the things that are calling all the shots for you. And by having our game event just be completely separate and having all of our level attributes in a different folder, that's my thought process behind why we're organizing it this way. Don't worry, hopefully this will make more sense as we begin to code. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our player and enemy sheets or subfolders. So let's say player and let's say enemy. Now we're only going to have one enemy for this, but you can always add more enemies later on. Okay, so now our structure is getting there but we actually have to add another subfolder or a lot of other subfolders for our player because our player just has a lot of different components to it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add the subfolder of our camera. Our player will have a separate camera that will follow it and uh, that'll be in an upcoming lecture. Then we're gonna have another subfolder for our controllers, things that our player or things that will control our player. Then we need to have a subfolder for our input because we're going to have our keyboard input as well as our gamepad input. Then our final folder is going to be our states folder because our player is going to have a pseudo state engine where it will have different states to go to. I mean, it really is a state engine. So that is our event sheet project structure. Now let's keep going. We have an object types folder. Now this is all the objects that the retro style project has already imported for us. The audio object, browser object, gamepad, keyboard, mouse, touch, and web storage. Hopefully you know what all of these do by now, but what we're going to do is we're going to organize these into one central folder called our plugins folder. 
Cool, so let's just put all of these into our plugins folder. That way we have this, when we go to make a new object, we can actually clearly see where things are. Not when we go to make a new object, when we actually go to program, we can know that all of our Construct 2 plugins are in one folder. So the next thing we need to do is we need to make pretty much the same folder structure that we've been doing for our layouts and event sheets for our object types. So the first one is going to be our backgrounds. Then the next one is going to be for our entities. Now this is just gonna cover our player and our enemy. So we're gonna call this entities. And I'm actually gonna make some subfolders in here. The first one being our player and the next one being our enemy. And this is where we'll put those particular objects. Then we wanna make one more in our entities folder and we're gonna call this miscellaneous, oops, not rename. We're going to add the subfolder for miscellaneous things because that might be particle effects and stuff like that. Then what we have is we have to actually make the subfolder for our menus because our menus will have objects as well as our one level. And don't worry if this is kind of confusing and you're just kind of following along, that's fine for now. We will be filling all of this information out as we go forward. Then I think we're good on our object types. Let's look at our, we don't have to make any family folders because those are specific for the personal edition or greater. So I will be talking about families, but we're not going to be using them for most of these projects just so the free edition can always benefit from every single lecture. But for our sounds folder, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add a subfolder for our player. And we're going to add another subfolder for our enemy. And this is just going to be for our SFX. And now for our music, we're going to add a subfolder for our, let's call it main menu. And let's add another one for our game over. All right, so that is our full project structure. There is a lot of things going on here but you can at least see that now from the beginning, we are extremely organized and this is going to help us out a whole lot later down the road. So thank you so much for watching this lecture and I'll see you in the next one.